Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Kishalwan. So in today's video, I am to discuss about whether you should drop a year and prepare for get fully or not. So currently, suppose you are working in some company and you are thinking of quitting your job and you know take a year gap and prepare for get fully. Or maybe you are a final year student now who will be graduating next year and you are thinking after your BTEC you will be taking a year gap and prepare for GATE examination fully. So whether you should take this decision or not, what are the what are the advantage of you know taking a year gap for GATE preparation and what are the you know cons also like what are the problem that you might face that I'm going to discuss in this particular video. So please watch the video and if you like the video please like it. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now first coming to the pros part, like why it is absolutely worthy to drop a year and prepare for GATE. Like personally, my experience was like when I was preparing for GATE parallel with my job at TCS, I never enjoyed going to office. Like I always feel taking leave, staying at home and prepare for my GATE. Uh, because you know if you're preparing for GATE there are a lot of things to do like studying, practicing questions, revising subjects, then analyzing the mock tests and all. And whenever I used to go to office I used to feel like I wasted a lot of time. That's why you know that's why I always take very frequent leaves and stay at home and prepare for my GATE examination. But you know it's not possible to take leave every day because you are working and you have to go to office and you have to do the work because the company is paying you money. And the problem is if you are going to office your whole day will be wasted and like the prime time from 10 a.m. to 7 or 8 p.m. in the evening that time you have to spend at office and and staying at office means your mind will be diverted and you will be exhausted and all and when you come back off come back from the office and after your dinner or something like you can't you know it's very hard to focus back to your study. So that's the problem and that that made me so much irritated that I used to feel like a lot of time I'm wasting uh, for going going to the office and rather than you know spending those time for my preparation and I was too much desperate to do well in the gate examination that you know whenever I feel this like I am wasting too much too much time so I used to feel frustrated and irritated so I decided to quit my job before a couple of months before the gate 2016 I prepared for a couple of months for gate 2016 appeared for it but unfortunately I was not able to crack it uh, that year so I decided to take one more year gap and I appeared for gate 2017 and luckily this time I was able to get a good score to get into some good institution uh, so what I'm trying to say is that in this one year one and a half year of time period I really enjoyed preparing for gate and I really enjoyed the journey obviously I was not earning that time and I had a lot of doubts and insecurities that whether I can finally crack the gate or not because I was failing a lot before that like couple of times but I had 24 hours in my hand and I can use it whatever way I want to uh, want to and you know time is the biggest asset you can have if you have a clear goal in front of you and nothing is as satisfying as l like preparing for doing something for the full full day that that actually helps you to move closer to your dream so that is the biggest advantage i had during this one year period so if you are someone who doesn't have any you know financial problem and if you're thinking that your job is not that satisfying you're you're thinking of quitting your job and preparing for gate or maybe if you are a final year student you know who just who just graduating and not sure whether you want to you know like take a year gap for the gate preparation or not i personally would suggest that you know please go for it and take this risk i mean the biggest advantage as i was saying that you will get a lot of time for a preparation and that actually will help you to get a you know better preparation so please please take this advantage please give your best shot for the preparation so that you know after 20 years you don't have this regret that you know, okay i didn't try it enough like uh, so that is the biggest regret you could have if you if you didn't give your best shot and also like you know i had a very famous quotation by jack ma that you know if you don't try nothing is possible but if you try at least there is a hope that you can crack it so i think it's absolutely worthy that if you don't have any financial problem and you think that you know you are not enjoying your job and you should quit the job and preparing for gate please go for it and if you crack the gate and if you be into some good iits and isc it's a lifetime opportunity if it's a lifetime event you you will that your life will be completely different what you are leading now one more thing i want to mention here that you know if you if you if you are going deciding for going for a year gap and preparing for gate please decide it if you are damn sure about it because you know please don't dwell in your mind like i have seen many people taking decision dropping you know quitting their job then going for preparation then after few months their preparation is not going well 
things are not going going according to their ways they started feeling doubt and they started thinking maybe my job was better so take the decision if you are damn sure about it and if you are like damn sure that you want to go for the go for the higher study go for the gate then only you uh, take the decision otherwise you know don't be in dwell on and uh, dwell on confuse on that you know whether i want it or not so that will be actually a negative effect in turn so don't do that if you are damn sure about doing that step then only you take it coming to the other side of the coin that what are the cons uh, that could have happened if you if you take a one year gap and gap and preparing for gate so like i have mentioned in one of my other uh, other videos like gate is a very uncertain exam like even if you have a very good preparation if you can't handle those three hours in the exam hall you may end up being a failure and from statistics is clear right i mean there are Uh, around one lakh student used to appear for gate for for each stream and if i if i assume that like around 10000 people are serious about gate also uh, only 300 people you know can go to the top 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 iits so you can see that the failure rate is pretty high and uh, you know it depends upon how you are performing on that particular day so if you are not performing well on that particular day and if you do few silly mistakes that can cost heavily like personally i can say in 2016 my preparation was good but i, I did some five to six silly mistakes and that you know kind of uh kind of destroy my whole preparation and my result was so bad i mean i just got 60 in the in the examination and i got my rank was 549 so like whenever you are deciding to quit the job please make sure you have a backup plan ready like suppose after one year preparation you you can't crack the gate so what you what you will do after that failure that plan should be ready and uh, like if you don't have any plan like you can't appear for gate in fair number of time maximum one year or two year you will try but if you can't crack it you have to think uh, for other options so that plan should be ready personally i my plan was like i had this 500 rank so i was thinking if i can't crack it in 2017 maybe i'll join some nit and then again i'll be going some other corporate companies like maybe tcs again so that was kind of my prepare backup plan that i was thinking so please make a backup plan ready and take a calculated risk don't take a risk blindly that you know i'll be cracking gate but gate is an uncertain exam you can fail also so please take a calculated risk and then decide if you have watched the video till now the natural question comes to your mind is, is it necessary to drop a year for gate preparation like many people will be there who is not financially stable who needs to do the job for their family and supporting the family and supporting themselves so what they will do like is it necessary to drop a drop a drop a year quitting the job and prepare for the gate i i will say absolutely it is not necessary to drop a year and prepare for gate you can you can you know most likely you can crack the gate with the, with with the job also like i personally know many people who have cracked the gate with very good rank while working in some places like my i have friends in uh, i had friends in iisc iit bombay who had a score within top 20 while they are working in some other company so it is not absolute it is absolutely not necessary to quit the job and prepare for gate examination if you if you can manage the time properly and you know do the th- things rightly with job also you can crack gate and i have made a name uh, made a video in my channel also how to prepare for gate along with job uh, if you want you can watch that video also so it is not necessary and uh, you can do your job and side by side you can prepare and, and 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 crack the gate personally i i i did so because i was not feeling good going to office and preparing for gate and i didn't have this financial problem my family supported me for a year so that's why i took the decision but it's not absolutely necessary to follow everybody so take a decision based on your personal you know background and what is your situation so based on the, that you decide but it's absolutely fine you can do the work and you can crack the gate simultaneously there are many cases so it is not necessary to quit uh, quit the job and prepare for the gate yeah that's it guys that that was my take away on this point that whether you should take a year gap and prepare for gate or not what are the bad advantages you have and what are the you know cons you you might face and whether it is absolutely necessary or not so that that was my my take away So if you like the video please like it and share it with other people so that you know people may get to know about these things and they will be benefited uh, from these videos and also if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and help me to grow my channel uh, so that's it guys that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye